That's what I told her, dude. You couldn't sell ice in a desert. Yeah, what'd she say? Uh, hey, man, do you like Coldplay? No, I hate them. Why? Oh, man, I'll hook you up. I got an extra ticket, bro. Can I sell it? <laughs> I have a uh, triple non-fat sugar-free vanilla latte. <laughs> Are you ordering that over the phone? Uh, dude, I'm going to call you back. Can I have my drink now? Well, we have a strict no cell phone policy. And you just violated it. So, no latte. Alright. I want to talk to your manager. <laughs> Me too. She's never here. <laughs> this is so... F All right, look. I am very, very sorry. Can I have a drink now? No, I'd like to, but like I said, we have a strict no cell phone. <sighs> you know? There may just be a way. If you tuck your cell phone between your ass cheeks and then twirl around, we'll call it good. Are you insane? Quite possibly. <laughs> I'm not gonna... Hey man, look, I'm late. I don't have time. That's it, that's it. Good, now arms up, pirouette. Now say, I'm sorry for breaking the rule. I'm sorry for breaking the rule. I'll never break it again. Never break it again, I swear. I love my cell phone and I want to marry it. I love my cell phone and I want to marry it all the way up my butthole. Are you happy? Well, that last part wasn't necessary, but I appreciated it. We're out of skim milk, sugar-free syrup, and vanilla. We'll come back tomorrow, I'll hook you up. No, you. S I. I you. S No! 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 Oh. Why can't catch one break one time? Did you want to make this drink? On lunch, all ready to dive into the newest edition of the Paris Review, and guess what I find? A boring magazine. Maribel. What the shit is a Maribel? My ex-girlfriend from grad school. We were together for almost a year. And then she dumps me for a professor. She wins the school's fiction award, and now here she is in my Paris Review. Do you have any idea how many times I've been rejected from them? Mm -hmm. I can't believe this. Well, look on the bright side. Things are going to get much, much worse before you die. Oh, thanks for cheering me up. Oh, what do you think? You're the only one whose dreams don't come true? Yeah, when I was 12, I said, Dear God, please, let me grow up to be Mayor McShit of Sucktown, USA. I don't get what I want. You don't get what you want. Nobody gets what they want. 
Except Maribel. I'm sorry I'm late, guys. I had to break up with that hot chick I was sleeping with. It's a pain in my ass. Oh, you see? Everybody's got it rough. I mean, I just wish that they would get that I'm not my songs. I mean, that's just my art, you know? Oh, if only you weren't so damn brilliant. Why, God? Don't mess with me today, Dirk. I wish you'd get that I'm not my sarcastic remarks. I mean it. Not today. Oh, you see, Mitch? Whereas you and I, we're destined for mediocrity. Rob here, he was destined for greatness. Yet here he stands, wearing the same apron, begging for the same tips, slinging the same shit we are. How humiliating. Oh, you're never gonna be shit, Dirk. You know why? Why? You've got no talent. Oh, and you're so I'm, gifted, but you're guys, not shit. How do you account for that? I mean, God must yeah. really hate it's you. It's just a matter of time, just... man. Oh, I mean, really? Any day now, my destiny's gonna come walking through that door, and I'm okay. gone. But you guys, you, gonna... you're gonna die. Oh Lord, you're a poet. Sometimes just... I just want to suck your Keep tongue. Keep pushing me. You're gonna get your chance. P please, please. I'm really not comfortable. Can I just please get through there, please, please? What was that? I'm taking my break. Is someone on bar? No one's on bar. I, Dirk and Rob just had a fight and I haven't seen either one of them since. That's okay, you can make it. We'll call it practice. Oh, make it a single, okay? Because I have a date later and I do not want to get the squirts. So, was this your first Dirk-Rob skirmish? Yeah, it's pretty, uh... My first time, they got into it over the counter and there was this long line at the front door. Debbie nearly fired both of them. Why do they hate each other? Something about a band they were both in. Bad breakup, I guess. Hey, don't burn the soy, okay? Do you like my skirt? <laughs> That's really nice. Thanks. Are you almost done? Go look on your date. Thanks. I'm doubling with Stacy. Bye. Oh, great. See you later. Well, have an awesome time. Thanks. I hope she gets crabs. Good night, Dirk. Oh, by the way, happy birthday! <laughs> How do you always remember? You are my first employee, and the date never changes. Well. Did you, uh, did you, um, lock the office? I'll double check. What's the big emergency? It's Dirk's birthday. Oh, we called our dates off early for that. They weren't going that well. It's still better than Dirk's birthday. Oh, come on, he's been really down lately, and obviously he's not happy about getting older. So, uh, that'd be a great way to, you know, celebrate. Oh, look, look, look. I got this on break. Does anybody know how old he is? 12, 80, I don't know. This is so exciting. I love surprises. Do you think we should strip down to our undies? I think Dirk would like that. I hope you're talking to Mitch. Oh, wait, here he comes! Surprise! I could have timed that better.
What in the holy hell is that? Well, a little bird told me it was your birthday, so I thought, you know, what better way to celebrate than with some of your closest friends? Really? Are they hiding? You better not be 40 yet, mister. We have a deal. I don't eat the barrel till next year, thank you very much. Come on, make a wish. Blow out your, your candle. My wish is for you to blow them out. Good night. Whoa, douche. How about a little gratitude? Gratitude? Yeah. Now let's see. I hate birthdays. I hate cake. I hate my job. And I hate my coworkers. So, you really couldn't have planned this any worse. Happy birthday, buddy. I take that back. Well, Mitch said you wanted to bury the hatchet. Come on, let's head this shit out. Clearly, Mitch has watched too much Three's Company. Newsflash, this doesn't really work. Please, enjoy my cake and choke to death on a candle. And many more! Oh, this is great. You are so pathetic. You know what? You're never going to get over that stupid band, are you? Look, man. I just did what I had to do, and you would have done the exact same thing. No. I wouldn't have screwed the band, Bob. Oh, here we go again. It was your band. You brought me in. You taught me how to sing and how to write songs. The rain in Spain stays mainly on the planet. Yeah, and when a label came calling, you ditched us for your own deal. That was original. Look, it's not like I sold a million records. <laughs> I'm not a huge star. They didn't like the album. They dropped me. Here I am again. End of story. No. And a band. Look, I worked my ass off for years to get us where we were. Start over. F form a new band. Oh, it's that easy? Well then, why don't you write a better story than Maribel get it published? It's so simple. Look, you want to take a swing at me? Would that make you feel better? Maybe if you were a pinata full of candy. Uh, I won't hit back. Just go ahead. I... Best birthday present I've ever had. Hang on a minute. So, you didn't get everything you wanted out of your life. So does that mean you just give up? How can you stop trying, Dirk? Wait ten years. And then ask me that. Whoa, gotta go. I'm late for my annual pity bop. Only happens once a year. Hey. Thanks for the cake. Even though I hate cake. You didn't just roll out of a cornfield, right, Mitch? You've seen some of the world, like, met some of the people. If you keep expecting the best from everyone, you're always going to be disappointed. Better than expecting the worst and just shrugging when you get it. No. Yeah, I know. Wait ten years. I'm going to take Rob home. You can drop them off. I'm gonna take him home. Have fun. 
one.